Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and today I have three different crock pot recipes to share with you and they all are using one ingredient. Well, there's more than one ingredient in the recipes, but the same one ingredient is in each of these recipes and that is potatoes. <laughs> potatoes are super easy to make in the crock pot and you can change the flavor and do all sorts of things. So I have three different recipes that I would like to share with you today. Okay, I know you guys are looking at beef right now, <laughs> but this is a crock pot potato recipe. We are starting by browning up a two pounds of ground beef. I always like to add a little bit of onion powder. I say a little bit, I really don't measure. I just kind of sprinkle it until the top is nice and covered and garlic powder. And then I'm just going to, like I said, get this all nice and browned up. Okay, my ground beef is done. And typically I don't have to drain my meat, I feel like most of the time there's not a whole lot of grease but this one can you guys see that there's quite a bit in here maybe because i cooked two at once i don't know but it is rare that i have to drain and i've seen this little hack all over the place so i've only used it a few times but it works great so you just get some tongs and a paper towel if you don't want to like dirty another dish and you just kind of rub it around and it soaks up all that extra grease. Obviously it's not gonna get all of it, but a little extra grease never hurt anybody. I just don't want as much that is in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and soak up as much as I can with my little paper towel, but I wanted to share that little hack with you guys in case you haven't seen it. Actually, yeah, that's a lot of grease. I might need another paper towel. Look at that. Two paper towels later, <laughs> more like one and a half, but there's a tiny little bit. I don't know if you guys can see of grease in here, but definitely not as much. And I didn't have to uh, dirty another uh, dish or anything other than those tongs. But if you guys watched my meal prep video that should have gone out before this one goes out, I've already used those tongs today. So I already needed to wash them. Okay, my ground beef is done. And now I'm just going to mix up a little seasoning. So I'm adding to a small bowl about a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then a teaspoon of salt and pepper. I'm just gonna mix these together. All right, so here are the potatoes <laughs> for our, we are going to be making beef and potato au gratin in our crock pot. So you already saw we've got our beef nice and cooked up. We've got our seasoning mix. And then for the potatoes, I used about three pounds and I just sliced them into little rounds. Kind of like, you know, if you would were to buy an already made like scallop potatoes or a gratin from the store, that's how I chopped up my potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get half of my potatoes into my crock pot. And yes, I am using a liner. It just makes the cleanup <laughs> super easy. Okay, I have half of my potatoes in the crock pot and half of the ground beef. I diced up a fairly large onion. Half of it I put on top of the ground beef. And now I'm just going to sprinkle that seasoning mixture. I'm gonna sprinkle half of it on top of the onions. I've got a can of cheddar cheese soup. I'm going to put half of it. You guys see the, the theme here. We're gonna do two layers total. So half of everything first, and then we'll go in with another layer of everything. So I'm just using the back of my spoon to kind of spread this out a little bit. You don't really have to. Now I went ahead and shredded up some cheddar cheese, and this is something that I never measure. So I just kind of eyeballed it, and I'm going to just take about half of it and sprinkle it on top here. And then my husband loves this unexpected cheddar cheese that we find at Trader Joe's. 
and the last time I went, normally we get it in like the block cheese, which I did buy and he loves, but this time we saw it in the shredded, or this time we also picked it up already shredded. So since he loves that, you can see that we've already like been into this bag. I'm gonna put half of what is left with the cheddar cheese and then the other half will go with the next layer. All right, so that is the first half of our beef and potato au gratin. Now I'm gonna take the rest of my ingredients and do another layer. Okay, our layering is done. Okay, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's what I get for trying to do three different videos in one day. So I added one cup of beef broth to the top. I just kind of drizzled it, poured it all over the top, one cup. I got my lid on and now I'm going to cook it on high for four hours. Okay, our beef and potato au gratin is done. I've already got a little bit in a bowl just to share with you guys, but I definitely need to bowl out the rest so it starts to cool off for the kids. I have a fork here just so I could check the potatoes. Super yummy and perfect for the cold weather that we're seeing here in the San Antonio, Texas area for sure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and whip up a salad to go on the side of this, but you could really add any vegetable that you wanted or any kind of side dish or just have this. Don't worry about anything else. Uh, just a nice, warm, comforting dinner. All right, I have another crock pot potato recipe for you. This one is like an all-in-one dinner. So the star of the show is the Yukon Gold potatoes. I have, what, like 11 or, I don't remember. I was counting them as I was taking them out of the bag, but I bought a five pound bag and just pulled out what I thought would be a good amount for my family. I am going to peel these and just cut them up into like little bite sized pieces. I also have this chicken. This is boneless, skinless thighs that I'm going to get in the crock pot as well. And then the other part of dinner are some green beans. These are from a Trader Joe's. They're just pre-washed, ready to eat. You could microwave these in this bag, but I'm gonna toss them into my crock pot, which I need to <laughs> clean the outside. Let's just ignore that. But I um, definitely meant to make this dinner last week and it got pushed. So these green beans definitely need to be cooked because they are looking a little sad. Okay, and then just for some extra flavor, I've got some rosemary, some thyme. I'm going to take the easy route and use this already crushed garlic cubes. You can find these in most freezer sections. And then a little bit of tomato sauce, as well as some salt and pepper. So let me go ahead and get, the green beans are already prepped. I need to prep my potatoes. And then I am going to get these chicken thighs in a skillet and just brown them on both sides. All right, so I have my chicken with just a little bit of olive oil in a skillet and I'm just browning them on each side for three minutes. Okay, my chicken is done and I decided to move my crock pot over here because I am doing some more meal prep today and I want that other counter clear. So it'll sit here until it is time to eat, but I've got my potatoes peeled and diced, rinsed off all the, all the things and into the bottom of my crock pot. I'm going to add my bag of green beans. And I do have <laughs> a kid or two that are not the biggest fan of green beans. So um, I have opted to just leave them big so it's easier for them to pull them out. They will, you know, eat one or two. But other than that, that is it. So I've got my green beans in here and then I'm going to add my chicken right on top. All right, now it is time to add the seasoning. So I don't know if you can see here, but I've already got my garlic in there. I actually put three little cubes in there. However much or little that you like, all of this is gonna be to taste. Now I'm taking my rosemary and I'm just sprinkling it all over the top. Same with the thyme. I'm just kind of going over the top with it, making sure it gets on that chicken. All right, so for the tomato sauce, I don't wanna use the whole can. I feel like that's gonna be a little much. So I'm just using a cup or eight ounces, which is about half of the can. I'm just sprinkling that all over the top. This is just to give it a little extra flavor. So if you are not a fan of tomatoes, you could totally omit this and this would still be a, a super yummy dinner. All right, and then lastly, I'm just going with a little salt. I'm gonna do two pinches 
but again, it's just to taste. And then I'm just gonna do one pinch of pepper. Okay, time to get my lid on. I'm gonna go ahead and bake this or cook this on high for four hours and 30 minutes. All right, dinner is done. The potatoes are nice and tender. I've already got some out on a plate here. So we've got our chicken thighs, our potatoes, and our green beans. A full dinner in one pot. I did make some bread a few days ago. I prepped it knowing that I wanted to have it with this. So, and a few pieces are already missing. It's really, really good. It's the focaccia bread mix from Trader Joe's, but I thought that would be good with this dinner. So. That is our crock pot potato dinner for tonight. All right, for this last potato themed recipe in my crock pot, I am adding in a 28 ounce bag of the O'Brien hash browns. And that is just the hash browns that are cubed up and they have peppers and onions already diced up and mixed in there with them. One cup of sour cream one can of cream of chicken soup, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to add in some butter, about four tablespoons that I'm just kind of setting all over. And then I've got a little over half a cup, but really the cheese is just however much you want. So I had a couple different varieties of bags in my refrigerator that I wanted to use up. So this is definitely a, a mixture, but no matter what kind you use, they are still going to be, these potatoes are still going to be super yummy. All right, and that is it. I'm not going to stir it or anything. I'm just gonna let it set for now, getting my lid on. And I am cooking this on low for four hours. Okay, time is up. I am just stirring everything together. It smells super delicious. Definitely still hot, hot, fogging up my screen. Okay, so since I'm kind of just like throwing this together and really trying to utilize a lot of the cheese that I have in my refrigerator, I'm going to add a little bit more. You could totally eat it right now as is or add some more you know yellow cheese whether it be colby jack mild cheddar whatever but i do have a little bit of extra mozzarella and this is going to make it very creamy and we like i already mentioned love all sorts of cheese well let me let me get my spoon out of here hold up all right and then i'm only going to put like a cup probably total on top it's just on keep warm i'm going to close the lid and let that cheese melt. Okay, our cheesy crock pot potatoes are done. You can see the cheese that I put on top is nice and melty. We are just waiting for our sausage to be done on the grill. This is going on the side of that with just some different roasted veggies, but you could totally use this as a breakfast also. Make up some bacon and eggs and whatever, but these cheesy potatoes are great for really any time of a day, and they are super delicious. All right, those are the recipes that I wanted to share. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like using your crock pot, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video.